Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Starblast 114mm Auto Tracking Reflector Telescope. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up from uh, when it arrives at your door, what the box looks like, all the way to the fully assembled stage. Uh, I think you'll find that it's very easy to assemble. It's a very quick installation. All right, well, let's get started. When the telescope arrives at your house, it's going to look like this. It comes in a nice sturdy box. It's not too heavy, so it's easy to carry in and out. Uh, so let's open it up and take a look at it and see what's inside. So the first thing you'll notice when you open it up uh, is that it's double boxed. The uh, inner box uh, is designed to protect it a bit more when you're shipping it, so uh, it should arrive at your house uh, nice and safely. Uh, the inner box also has a handle on it, so you can use it to transport the telescope uh, while keeping it in the box. Once you open it up, uh, remove the foam that's covering the telescope, and you will find uh, the telescope itself right here, the optical tube. Uh, in this uh, upper compartment is the mount itself, and then over here on the side, a box of accessories, all the eyepieces and the finder scope, and the manual itself and the CD-ROM to help uh, locate objects in the night sky. Once you pull everything out of the box, these are the parts that you will find. Uh, on the right side are all the parts that are necessary for assembly. Uh, obviously the mount itself, uh, the telescope optical tube, and then over here on the far right, the easy finder, that's your finder scope, two eyepieces, a 25 low power and a 10 millimeter higher power. Uh, the manual and CD-ROM, which uh, allow you to you know, learn more about the telescope itself, and the CD-ROM helps you find objects in the night sky. On the left side over here, these are accessories that you can use for other purposes. Uh, L-brackets for attaching a camera. If you don't want to use the telescope itself, you can use a camera for wider field shots. There's a collimation cap to help in the alignment of the mirrors of the telescope itself. Uh, a little compass, just to give you an idea if you're roughly level. Uh, this is an adapter for a uh, phone, a smartphone, if you wanted to uh, use them out to track with, uh, with your, uh, the camera in your phone. And then a snap cable for compatible Canon cameras to help trigger the uh, exposure. Those are all the parts that come with the telescope. Now let's take a look at how it goes together. The first part of the assembly is to attach the telescope itself to the mount. And that's done with this dovetail bar here, which fits into the dovetail slot on the mount itself. You can loosen the uh, axes to move the mount around so you get it into a comfortable angle. Then simply slide the dovetail into the slot and tighten down the large thumb screw on the side. The next step is to attach the finder scope to the dovetail base uh, on the telescope tube itself. First, make sure you pull the little plastic tab out that's covering the battery. That way the battery will make contact you can actually turn the finder on. And then simply loosen the thumb screw slide the finder into place and tighten the thumb screw back down. The next step is to attach the eyepiece to the focuser. There's a cap covering the, uh, the hole in the focuser so you'll want to pull that off and if you're like me and you don't have any fingernails, I can't really get my fingernails under there, what you can also do is unthread the entire ring and then pop the cap through from the inside and then simply thread the ring back onto the tube. The eyepiece simply slips in, loosen the set screws, slip it in, and then tighten the set screws back down. Focus is achieved by twisting these knobs here up and down to get a nice sharp focus on the object you're looking at. In front is the main cap. Make sure you take the entire cap off and not just the inner ring. So the entire cap comes off so you're getting the full four and a half inches of light hitting the telescope. There's two ways to power the mount itself. Uh, one is with an optional 12 volt power cable that plugs in right there. But the easiest method is with uh, AA batteries. There's a battery compartment on the side here. Simply loosen up the screw, pop the cover off, and you put eight AA batteries into the compartment here. Close it back up and you're ready to go. All right, so there you have it, a very simple uh, installation for the Starblast 114 Auto Tracking Telescope. Make sure before you go out that you align your finder scope so it's uh, looking at the same objects that are in the eyepiece, and then you're ready to view the night sky. All right, well, thank you very much. Clear skies.